Well, a key element of interactive instruction is the notion of feedback. So you ask students to perform in some way and then you give them feedback on what they're doing. Uh, but there are lots of different ways of giving feedback. So uh, well, one issue is the timing of the feedback. Uh, there's immediate, there's delayed, and then, you know, what does that really mean? If delayed is the next day, that's just too long. Students aren't in the mind frame, if you will, anymore uh, when they look at that feedback on the graded homework assignment the next day. Uh, having it be reasonably immediate or timely is, is super important. There's certainly other issues around timing, around giving students space to self-correct, and, and that can be powerful. So sometimes immediate, sometimes feedback's a little too immediate in, in some contexts. One of the uh, research projects we looked into was uh, exploring situations in which you could structure uh, activities where students can self-correct. Um, this was in learning how to do Excel programming. Um, and when they see the consequences, uh, downstream consequences of making an error, and then they keep going as though there was no error, then you want to jump in and give feedback. But if they're able to note that something went wrong um, and correct it themselves, they're going to learn much more from that experience than if, uh, we, if, if we had jumped in at the point the initial error was made. Uh, but I think as a sweeping generalization, it's better to err on the side, if you can, of immediacy. Uh, and then, you know, that's what a one-on-one -on -one tutor can provide for a student is give that much more uh, in-the-moment kind of assistance and support and instruction. So, uh, you know, struggle can be good, but successful struggle is what's best. There are some important issues about thinking hard about what it is you want students to learn. Um, and and then, then is the feedback about that or something else? So for example, in writing, you might notice a spelling error, but if your instructional goal at the moment is just to have some compository you know, narrative getting onto paper, then creative spelling you know, might be just fine because that's not the focus of the lesson. So sometimes this issue of feedback and, and, and careful thought about the learning objective and, and aligning that with the activity, you know, they, they can potentially conflict and you want to keep that as clear as possible.